could create our own world. Imagine we could create a, an Ireland exactly the way we wanted. Imagine we could create you know, a place where the court system doesn't represent, represent the accumulation of funds, rather it represents justice. A place where the police, the Garda Shia don't go around finding us for every little victimless crime, rather they stand by their oath and protect the peace. A place where there'd be vitamins and, and minerals in our drinking water rather than fluoride, that'd be nice. <laughs> a waste product of aluminium in our drinking water that was first used by the Russians and Nazis in the concentration camps to keep people passive, today it's using Prozac and rat poison. Sometimes it's the only ingredient in rat poison. No way, eh? No way. No way, eh? That's a conspiracy. No, our government love us. Why would they want to keep us passive? <laughs> <laughs> the reason it's in the water is it's because it's good for your teeth. <laughs> the rat's fucking dead. <laughs> You're right, he's got shiny white teeth. <laughs> I believe it keeps us passive for two reasons. I filter that stuff out of my water and always have and always will. And, and the reason I do is because I believe it keeps us passive. One, because I researched it. Two, because the Greeks were burning Athens down while the Irish were sitting at home getting high in our fluoridated water saying, ah sure, it's grand. <laughs> I mean, we're rich. This country's rich. We've got the greatest natural resources in all of Europe. We owe a minimum of 540 billion euros worth of oil and gas off the west coast of Ireland. But before you start celebrating, our Trump government gave it away and we get nothing. Ah, sure, it's grand. <laughs> 200 billion euros worth of fish given away to the EU in exchange for roads that we pay toll bridges on. Ah, sure, it's grand. And now we have this ridiculous debt, this unpayable debt that can never be paid. So you, me, our children, grandchildren are slaves to debt forever. Ah, sure, it's grand. It's not fucking grand. Politicians and bankers and corporate criminals and anybody else who deals with corruption, you sneaky, slimy, treasonous, treacherous, fucking scumbags on behalf of the people of the whole country, fuck you! <laughs> or maybe I should just stop filtering my tap water. <laughs>